Okay, right here is a 2002 Caterpillar 992G. The 992G was first introduced by Caterpillar at Mine Expo in Las Vegas in 1996. And then the following year, in 1997, the 992G was officially released for production. As a replacement for the older 992D, the 992G featured a completely new design. And what made it so unique was the one-piece cast steel box section front lift arm design, which you can see right here. This replaced the older twin boom design and Z-bar linkage found on the older 992C and 992D models. The new front end has three times as much strength over the older design. And the stresses generated from the bucket digging cycles are spread the full length and perimeter over the box section, which thus resists twisting and prevents stress cracking. The new front end design also gave the 992G higher reach and dump capabilities, higher breakout force, and better operator visibility. The standard bucket capacity for a 992G can range anywhere from 15 to 16 cubic yards. Right here you can see where the two sections of the loader are pinned together. And this is where the articulated steering is. One cylinder on each side to turn the loader left to right. Right here on the side of the loader frame you can see the plate with the machine's product identification number and the model number you can see where it says 992G. On the left side of this loader is the steering hydraulic oil tank, which you can see right here, which holds 41 gallons of hydraulic oil. The frame on a 992G is 90% robotically welded for increased strength. The new box section frame was extended forward, which gives better stability and balance for the loader. Now let's go up on top of the 992G. The 992G is powered by a Caterpillar 3508B DITA EUI twin turbocharged and aftercooled V8 diesel engine that develops 800 horsepower for this machine. The engine features Caterpillar's advanced diesel engine management system, which controls the fuel injector solenoids to start and stop fuel injection. The engine receives its fuel from a 413 gallon diesel fuel tank mounted inside the rear counterweight. And the engine also features a separate engine after cooling circuit utilizing Caterpillar's advanced modular cooling system which uses a parallel flow system with 16 cores to improve cooling capabilities. Right here you can see one of the air cleaners. The other is on the opposite side. And if you look on top of the hood you can see the two air intakes. And as you can see, there is a lot of room up on the top deck of a 992G. This first service compartment, which is located on the right side, is to get in and fill the implement hydraulic oil tank, which holds 85 gallons of hydraulic oil. 
Inside of this service compartment, this is where the batteries are located. And as you can see, there are four of them on a 992G. Right here is the grease barrel for the central lubrication system. Located directly behind the operator's cab are two big service compartments. These are to get in and service the hydraulic pumps and the transmission on the loader. Let's take a look. Here you can see the two variable and single fixed displacement pumps to power the implement and steering functions. And here you can get a good view of the Caterpillar transmission. It's a planetary design transmission with full power shift. Now let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. Here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the 992G. Okay, the 992G has a vital information management system which monitors the entire loader when it's in operation. Out in front here you can see all the gauges and on the floor you can see three foot pedals. The third pedal that you see over here on the left side operates the impeller clutch torque converter. When you step on this pedal halfway it modulates the amount of rim pull from 100 to 20 percent. The second half applies 20% rim pull and brakes, which gives smooth transitions for brake on to brake off for fast loading cycles. What the impeller clutch does is it modulates the amount of rim pull sent to the wheels, while the torque converter has a standard lockup clutch for fast load and carry cycles. Now probably one of the first things that you are noticing inside the cab of the 992G is as you can see out in front there's no steering wheel. A 992G is a full joystick control machine for its steering. And that's what this hand lever that you see over here on the left side is used for. This is how you steer this loader and control its direction. So this would be to turn to the left and turn to the right. And the toggle switch that you see down below that you control with your finger is to shift the loader from reverse, neutral, or forward gears. This is what's called an STIC control system. On the right side, these two hand levers, which you control with your fingers, control all the digging functions of the loader out in front. One to raise the loader arms up and down, and the other to curl the bucket in or out. And over here, on the right side control panel, you can see other switches and buttons to control other various functions on the loader, for example, the headlights, fan speed, heater and air conditioning, and the windshield wipers. The 992G has an electro-hydraulic control system. This machine uses separate hydraulic circuits for the lift, tilt, engine fan and steering and brake system. The benefits to this is it increases hydraulic cooling and it eliminates cross-contamination. When compared to the older 992D, the 992G's cab is 75% larger, and from here you can get a crystal clear operator's view. And the overall operating weight of the 992G prior to 1999 could range anywhere from 101 to 104 tons. 
By late 1999, following improvements and upgrades that were made to this machine, the overall operating weight of the 992G increased and could range anywhere from 103 to 105.6 tons in standard loader configuration. And in high lift configuration, the overall operating weight of the 992G could range anywhere from 107.5 to 109.7 tons. The 992G continued the legacy of Caterpillar's 992 series until 2007 when the loader was upgraded to the new 992K model. But there she is. A 2002 Caterpillar 992G.